Healthcare workers are facing concerns across the country as personal protective equipment dwindles. And that's no different here in Kentucky. Anna, at Clark Memorial Hospital in Jeffersonville, they say there have been days when PPE is extremely low. As Abby Lute shows us, today was not one of those days. A lot of the things you're hearing from other parts of the country are concerned here. We've got a great local response plan, but there are some fixed obstacles that we're going to run up against if we get a big surge. Stress of one day coming up short on ventilators or ICU beds. It's something Clark Memorial and hospitals across the country face. But the more cases we get, the more PPE we're going to burn through. I mean, that's just a realistic thing. But here in Clark County, we're as well positioned as we uh, as we could be uh, currently. Contingency plans haven't had to be tapped into. Health officers Eric Yazel says there have been days when supplies are low, but never crucial. And today, a little stress relieved. We brought a surgical masks, uh, we brought protective gowns, we brought N95s, we brought eye protection gear. More than 3,000 pieces of protective equipment was donated by SOS, an organization that usually ships overseas to communities with the greatest need. And six weeks ago, we realized that it was our community that was the greatest need. Now helping the heroes here at home, from hospital workers to first responders. This has allowed us to get that tactical reserve built back up so we can hopefully flatten this curve and keep our workers safe. It's donations like this that help frontline workers face another day safely. The supplies that we've been given, we're gonna to try to make care packages for the first responders in our county. So they have an initial response package so they can get us through this they call it a peak week. And as the number of cases continues to grow, Clark County officials say these local sources are crucial. We've always been operating under the assumption that we might have to, you know, just take care of things here locally. And, and that's what we're trying to do is be as self-sufficient as possible. And donations like this are huge for that goal. In Clark County, Abby Lutz, WHAS 11 News.